Hey guys, Sully here, Shamrock Forge. Uh, you know, earlier I was trying to trying to do that uh, a set of tongs, and uh, man, it just it would, in the I, right before I watched uh, the Brian Brazil video on how to forge a set of tongs if you don't have a set of tongs, um, and uh, I was like, oh, okay, I got that, I can do that. It won't be a problem. And uh, so I got my piece of steel out, heated it up, and started working on it. And uh, man, a, a few minutes in, uh, it was I, I noticed a, a little crack right where uh, uh, the the jaw was coming off. Uh, and uh, I mean that was kind of the end of that. And I don't know why it cracked. Uh, maybe I was working it too cold. Um, maybe it's the steel. I'm not really sure. Uh, I, it, I'm not sure. I, I know I messed it up. I I, I failed, and uh, it's a learning experience. Uh, don't know where to go from there. Uh, uh, I guess uh, I'll wind up getting some of those uh, uh, blanks from uh, uh, Ken's Iron Store because that really seems like it's going to be an easier way to go uh, as far as getting a variety of tongs rather than trying to make them myself over and over and over again. Um, the one set that I got will it'll do for the time being it's just it's kind of size specific it, it holds half inch round and square and that's pretty much it uh, so yeah uh, this is uh, the coming up is the last I don't know maybe three minutes or whatever or the only three minutes of me uh, starting a set of tongs and uh, failing epically uh, when I got done I just kind of cut that end off of that uh, mud flap hanger and decided well I'll do something else with it Welcome back to Shamrock Forge. Uh, today I'm going to play with my little party here. Got a mud flap hanger. That's way easier now. Ah, see, fuck that up.
right there you know in the in the corner so I, I hit it the other way can't really see it but yeah I cracked it somehow well, sure can't do nothing with that gloves it's just a you know, you'll see me like with working the hammer and I got a glove on each hand and it's just an oil filled habit uh, Ever since I started 15 years ago, they teach you don't ever touch anything without gloves on. The only time you take your gloves off is to take a leak and to get in the truck. Otherwise, don't care if you're just picking up a rock off the ground, put gloves on because you don't know what's on it. Never know. And so I'm just in this habit of always, before I grab anything, put on a set of cotton gloves. Or sometimes I've got leather ones, I've got welding gloves, just depends on what I'm doing. I always put some gloves on and I'll wind up swinging the hammer and the hammer's moving around inside my hand and then I'll remember to take that glove off and so you'll see me with one glove on and then sometimes none after I get frustrated with this one so uh, it's just a hard habit to break. So, sometimes it's a good one but you know.